Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Discovering Humans. Today what we want to talk about is a phenomenon that's happening globally, worldwide. It's a brain drain that's... Long, long ago, dinosaurs roamed the earth and yet their extinction was inevitable. Some say it was the Ice Age that brought about their demise and others say it was meteors that brought these dinosaurs to their extinction. Either way, all we're left with are their descendants. And now we have another extinction coming upon us and the writing is on the wall. We've got empty swings, deserted playgrounds, cleared out clubhouses. What we're talking about here is the possible extinction of human interaction. We're talking face to face, cara a cara. And it's all caused by screen addiction. We've got a cantaloupe here and we're gonna use it to understand the human brain. We're gonna cut it up and see what it looks like inside. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a knife very carefully here, of course kids, don't do this at home, and we're going to cut into this cantaloupe so that we can get an idea of how our brain looks and acts. Now as we can see here, our brain has an outer membrane. It has this uh, tissue right here and these kind of are like neurons. Now the more we do activities and the more we learn, we gain new connections in our brain. And the more we use screens, especially hours and hours on end, we lose these connections. It's like we're actually making our brains smaller and smaller. People are addicted to all sizes of screens. We're talking small screens and in between screens and even large screens, even if they're cracked, people can't take their eyes off of it. People are so addicted to their phones that babies don't even want their pacifiers anymore. <laughs> Instead, people give babies their phone and they're quite happy. <laughs> and the real issue is the phone has actually become an adult pacifier. If you want to make a teenager happy or even make an adult happy, just give them a screen. Parents complain that their children spent too much time on the screens, but oftentimes children will say that they see their parents doing the same. And as they say, monkey see, monkey do. You talking to me? Back in the day, people used to go out and socialize in the parks, talk to one another, and the only type of technology people can take with them once they left their home was a boombox. Now, people are in waiting rooms, not even looking at each other, plugged in their earphones, tuned out to the world, now they're bringing their devices to the table, dinner conversations have gone extinct, people just aren't socializing anymore face to face, they might be sitting in the same house, but everybody is in a different room, watching a different device. Now this balloon here represents our brain, and when children and adults alike watch hours and hours of all types of programming and games on their devices, their mind will actually shrink. The gray matter in their brain reduces. The very organ that gives humans the capability to reason and function at a higher level than other animals is now affected by screen addiction. Scientists are in the lab right now trying to figure out why humans are so addicted to these screens. The humanoid species wants to be engaged with one another and they crave social interaction. And yet when people got their devices, people got distracted with all kinds of things like gaming, like watching videos hours upon end, wanting likes, wanting to become famous, using filters on their faces, and it led to people becoming further and further apart. These blocks here represent the neural pathways of the brain that are created especially when children learn, when they do something new, even playing with toys that are creative. Yet when people spend lots of time on their screens, their language center starts to diminish and that becomes a weaker part of the brain. And that's the same part of the brain that deals with empathy. So here we have people addicted to screens, less able to communicate and less able to empathize with people. The power of chit chat is amazing. It benefits both parties. So the next time you visit your 
Aunt Mary. Well, look what the rain brought in. Come on in. Oh, your abuelita. Hola, mijita. Como estas? Oh, your daddy, ma. Aye, aye. Tashrif laye. Oh, your tante. Ahlan, ahlan. Tafadalo. Yalla. Even if the conversation gets a bit repetitive. So, how's the weather? Zayik. Wahashtini ewi. And how are your studies? Ahlan, ahlan. It's great to see you. No wartuna wa sharaftuna. Time for my famous hot cocoa. Tashrabishe? And with all of this increased screen time, people are taking less walks in the park, visiting their neighbor, even fixing things around the house. Programmers, designers, and marketers alike have made screen usage highly attractive and addictive. But at what price? Even though these devices have become cheaper, the cost of losing our human interaction is very expensive. And that wraps up this week's edition of Discovering Humans. See you next time.